Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Good morning countrymen and women. My name is Prince Chanda aka Headliner. I have noticed with dismay that today the UPND seems to have sponsored a lot of people to go to radio station, TV station to analyze an innocent statement of caution that was said by the former president of Zambia, Dr. Edgar Chagwanu, where he said the police must stop the behavior of hurting the Zambian people who are already being hurt with so many hardships. If they continue behaving like that, they might create a situation that might make Mr. Ishima to fail to reach 2026. This is simple. It will be interesting because we know that these discussions precede something else. We know. But I wish to remind the UPND regime, the reporters that are entertaining them, the journalists, so to say, and the state institutions that are watching UPND perpetrate anarchy in this country. I know that a lot of people in many institutions have been fired. But there are institutions that can never lose their history, their records in this country. President Hitchelema, when he was in opposition, did not play clean politics. President Hitchelema, in many instances, he threatened the security of this country and he was led because it was more important to preserve the peace of the country than to go for an individual who is excited and politicking in any manner that they want to politic. Why was Nakatinda arrested? That is, he alleged that there were some premature ballot papers. Chipenzi, who is at ECZ, is on record many times having claimed, while the UPN was in opposition, of such things like ballot, premature ballot papers. Kungo was murdered because of such allegations. <laughs> President Hitler and himself in person, Gary Congo and many people would allege that they are ballot papers. They would arrest people on account that they are ballot papers. The law did not go for the one that was politicking. The law wanted to go for the one who would have had what they were alleging. If there was nothing, then the one that would have alleged would have been considered to have been politicking. This is the UPND today. That wants to tell us that for President Lungu to say, if the new police do not stop what they are doing, they are going to create a situation that will be very volatile for Mr. President who is in power today to reach 2026. It is very clear what the intentions of that statement are. It's a question to the Zambia police. The Zambia police do not vote for the government of the day. When they are entangled with the regime, they begin to do things outside the law. Today we have a police IG, deputy IG, who is in prison for the pension she worked for as a hard worker and is invested in transportation. A, 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 a kind of officer that this nation needed, even in this current situation, a professional lawyer is in, is in, is in prison for the business he started with the pension she acquired. What about that police officer who is breaking the law? What makes them think that Mr. Islam is going to go forever in that, in that status? What makes the state institution to think that all these anarchy that they are tolerating is going to end if the people get agitated? These are statements that we should be analyzing. Why should the police be having a manner they behave? That should be the subject of analysis. What are the police pushing? That should be the analysis. What are the consequences of police action? That should be the analysis. The president has been perpetrating in tribal remarks. Hate speech, he himself. That is what should be analyzed. If 
other people, other tribes, feels they are facing existential threats. What are they supposed to do? Those are the things you're supposed to be, ana to be analyzing. If particular tribes are being maligned, they are being spoken in heel of, they are being arrested on account of who they are. Those are the analysis that a sound state institution has been analyzing. Zambia police are supposed to be analyzing, analyzing that. And many other institutions. Today, you want to sit and analyze how many times did President Chichile allege that President Lungu must go to an early election, President Lungu must step down. No, people must rise and demand to go to an early election because President Lungu has failed. How many times did he do that? President Hitler, with his mouth, alleged that Yeti Galum was, was creating a militia when he was in opposition. Do you know what crime that is according to the State Security Act to allege that a sitting president is creating a, a, a militia? Do you know what crime that is? You think Yeti Galum was a lawyer didn't understand to what extent that statement went? UPND through watchdog and the and the and, and the coastway where we're banking lies that the very thousand people of Eddie Garum with their militias they have voted weapons from Russia and the ship is is, dock, is docking somewhere in maybe in South Africa is on the in all the waters coming here bringing arms in order that they they, 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 they stop the elections and cause men in the country. Do you understand what that meant? You, a police officer, who's today being used to cause more anarchy in this country, do you understand what those statements meant? The state institutions at that time are the patriots who understood their role. There are things certain institutions must stop without getting consent from the president. They must stop directly the perpetrators of such nonsense and tell them off and give them the, the reason why they're not behaving exactly in the way they are behaving. There are institutions that should be able to go to the radio station and be able to tell people what you're perpetrating here is anarchy. We understand what is supposed to be done in this country and it's not being done. Why is it not being done? Why are you creating anarchy in this country as a European government? Who was arrested before election to have the election that every government was got a militia and they are bringing weapons? Do you know what that means? It meant that a militia is, a, is, is, a, is, is an illegal army that is meant to fight the legitimate army. Who arrested each of those guys in the hospital over all those allegations? Who arrested President Nishlema when he said that he, Eddie Galungu is causing anarchy? When he said that we should go for an early election because Eddie Galungu has failed? Who arrested him? Who analyzed that statement? Now the former head of state is giving you counsel as police. You want to start analyzing that and give Mr. Nishlema the uh, uh, credence to try and start thinking that Eddie Galungu is planning something against him? You still can't see that the country is not, is not okay. The country is injured. You can't see that. At what extent do you understand the caution for what it is? At what extent? What language should we use to tell you it's a stop of a threatening anarchy or causing a problem in this country? What should we say to tell you that you are threatening the security of this country? Tell us language you should use. This is nonsense. And everyone who is not stopping this is going to face problems. This is nonsense. Radio station must not be used to analyze nonsense when they're supposed to be analyzing important things. That statement was clear. The police here that innocent people at the supermarket. The people went to see that secretary general. It is wrong and it's illegal for a police officer to detain someone and begin to move them in the middle of the night back the lawyers and the families. It is illegal. That's abduction. So why do you want to legitimize the criminality in this country? What makes so, uh, you being so special that you can, you, you can create a scenario that is threatening the security of the country and you, go, you, 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 go, you get out with it? It's very unfortunate that we should really be talking like this. Everything in this country is not working. Judge Mimu and his friends, where can you remove the, 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 the office bearers from the patrol front? Illegal. You tolerate that criminality. And you think you are free to do that at will? And you think we are stupid not to see what you are doing? This is an appeal to whoever it matters.
the discussion today over the statement that President Lubu issued is a recite for anarchy. It actually gives legitimacy to what was being asked as a question. It must be stopped and down power and whoever they are sponsored into one creates that, that scenario on radio station must be cautioned and warned to, to abandon that mission. This is an advice to everyone that it matters. Leaving home as a political advisor to the president, don't get too excited, my brother. You've got to understand that this country will live beyond you and beyond Mr. Hitler. Leaving home, I'm addressing you because you are the political advisor to the president. This nonsense you must stop. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.